What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Man, today has been action-packed in terms of online callouts. Now, I reported about Adrian Broner challenging Amir Khan. Amir Khan responded to him. Now, I guess that got Edislandi Laura feeling froggish, and he called out Keith one time Thurman. Here's what he put. Why arduous talking? Where's Thurman at? You can't fight for him. I guess he was responding to somebody. And he says, Keith Thurman, come on one time. Come out and play. Stop lying and saying you're feared. Let's do it. Then he also responds, only one way to find out. He says no one wants to fight him. But here I am. Come out and play, Keith. So that's from Cuban boxing technician at Islandi Laura. Now, my thoughts on this as a matchup, it's a good matchup. Keith Thurman has previously fought. I think he started his pro career at like 152, 154. I know in the amateurs he was fighting up there. Um, then he fought at welterweight. He moved up, fought Carlos Quintana, stopped him at 154. So as a matchup, this is an interesting fight. In the amateurs, Keith Thurman fought Demetrius Andrade, another slick style fighter who's currently fighting at 154. So it's not a bad fight. I don't think it's realistic, however. And the simple reason is is this. Keith Thurman made some noise in the welterweight division. So that should, with the win over Robert Guerrero, expand his options, in my opinion. Not only that, he got elevated to the super champion or whatever with the belt that he has. So I think that's like some bargaining chips for Keith Thurman. And again, after his performance against Robert Guerrero, I mean, why would you want to stop all that momentum and move up to 54 or catch weight or, or whatever to fight Edis Londi Laura. So I just don't really see it happening. I don't have a problem with the match. I think stylistically it's a good match. Edis Londi Laura slick southpaw. He rains down from the heavens with the left hands. But the thing I don't understand, and maybe I'll make a separate video about this, is the call out. To me, that's what boxing is missing. We need to get back to old fashioned call out. So when Edis Londi Laura is calling people out. He called out Miguel Cotto. He said he's down to fight Amir Khan, this and that. Keith Thurman. I like that. I don't have any problem with the call out. Some people get mad like, why Broner call out Matisse? Why'd he call out Khan? Or Edis Lundy, why'd he call out Keith Thurman? I don't have a problem. I mean, to me, that's a good sign because this is a very, very competitive sport and a brutal sport that he's in. So I like to see that type of confidence. And to me, to call out somebody takes confidence. Now, I know some the way some of you guys think you say stuff like, oh, he's calling him out because he know it won't happen. But if you call out the amount of people that Edis Londi Laura or Broner have called out, one of those fights could be feasible. So to me, that's stupid to think that these fighters are just aimlessly calling out people and saying 20 names that they know all won't be made or can't be made or won't get a response from that particular fighter. So I genuinely think Edislandi Laura wants to fight these guys. He called out Triple G, he's called out Cotto, called out Keith Thurman just today. I mean, I don't think, how are you going to call out Triple G? And some people, oh, he doesn't want to fight Triple G. But why Why did he call him out? That's a fight that could happen. And if you look at it, Triple G's side said, there's no there's no buzz, there's no reason for us to fight Edislandi Laura. So it's like you can't really call his bluff at that point. Adrian Broner called out Lucas Matisse, and Lucas Matisse said there's nothing really in it for me to fight him. He's no longer a champion. So it's like you can't really call these guys bluff. I think Edis Lonnie Laura truly wants to prove his worth. He doesn't feel he gets the respect that he deserves. It's a good fight. Again, I don't think it's likely because Keith Thurman, he's making noise, and he put the welterweight division on notice with a great performance over Robert Guerrero. So I really don't see why he would want to leave that and after he just got elevated title-wise to fight Edis Lonnie Laura. But if it were to happen for whatever reason, I would not complain. I would. I hope Cotto picks someone. See, Cotto is like the missing link. I hope Cotto picks someone good. I'm okay with the Cotto Edislandi Laura fight, just because Edislandi Laura has a big frame and his his style is tricky and stuff. I don't really want to see Miguel Cotto fight a welterweight. Period. I don't want to see him fight Brandon Rios, Timothy Bradley. Those fights, Amir Khan. That doesn't make sense to me for Cotto, the middleweight lineal champion, to be fighting those guys right now. So hopefully some of these fights get made. The call out, like I said, I'll do a separate video. The call out is one aspect. I don't want to just see people calling out random names and that's it. But hopefully some of these fights can get made. This is the first step. And 
I want to get boxing back to its pure form where we had exciting interviews and exciting characters and call outs and stuff. I think that is all great for the sport and it gets the fans vested. People pick sides and stuff like that. So I have no problem with the call out. It's just I want to see something happen from it. So let me know what you guys think. Edis Lonnie Lord versus Keith Thurman. Would you like to see it when Keith Thurman heals up? His eye is pretty swollen right now. All the blood leaving his eye from the headbutt and the Robert Guerrero fight. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Keith Thurman, Edis Lonnie Laura. Who would you pick in that fight if it were to happen at 154? Make sure you hit the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. Mm -hmm.